This is lesson nine homework for module seven, second grade. I'm gonna write my name first. Don't forget to do that. Draw coins to show another way to make the same total value. So here we have 25 cents. That's, these are nickels, so those are fives. That's a 10. Two fives makes a 10, 10, 20, five. One diamond, three nickels is 25 cents. Another way to make 25 cents It's probably the easiest way to do it. You could also draw, uh, and th that you could be done right there. Or you could also do it with uh, two dimes and a nickel. And you would draw those, it would look like this if you did it that way. But don't, don't do both of these, because that would be 50 cents, just either that one or that one. And you could do it with pennies too. Uh, 40 cents. Four dimes make 40 cents. Another way to make 40 cents, you could do with a quarter, 25, a dime, 35, and now I just need five more cents. There's 40 cents. There are other ways to make 40 cents. You could draw two nickels. So you could have three dimes and two nickels. There's lots of different ways to make 40 cents. That's just one of the ways you can do it. Uh, 60 cents, two quarters and a dime. The quarters are 25s. Two 25s makes a 50, and then 10 more is 60 cents. Another way to make 60 cents, you could do it with six dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, just like that. And here we have 80 cents, a total value of three quarters. That's 325s. And a nickel is five more. So if you know your 25s, it's useful to know them, is that you've got uh, 50, and three makes three of them makes uh, 50 and 25, that's 75, five more, 80, right? Because they told you that's 80. Another way to make 80 cents, you could do it like this. You could do it with two 25s, that's 50, 60, 70, 80. You could do it like that. You could do it with uh, eight dimes, eight tens would make would be 80. You could do it with nickels, you'd be drawing an awful lot of nickels. Um, you could just substitute a couple of nickels for one of the dimes, lots and lots and lots of different ways you could do 80 cents. That's just one of the ways. And now here we have Samantha has 67 cents in her pocket. Write two coin combinations she could have that would equal the same amount, the same 67 cents. So we're going to find two ways to draw 67 cents. So I could do it 67, I could get to 50, I could do it two quarters for 50, and then a dime would get me to 60, right? Because that's 50 right here. That's 60, and now I need uh, 65, right? And then I now I need two more to get to 67. And that's one way to get 67 cents two quarters, a dime, a nickel, and two pennies. Another way to do it, uh, I could draw 10, 20, 30, 40, and a quarter. So that's 65, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, and 66, 67. That would, that's another way to do it. Number six, there's lots of different ways you can draw 67 cents. There's any two different ways that add up to 67 cents will be fine. Uh, number six, store clerk gave Jeremy two quarters, three nickels, and four pennies. 
write two other coin combinations that would equal the same amount of change. So the store clerk is somebody who makes change for you uh, at a cash register. So he probably bought something and this is the change he got back. He got two quarters, three nickels, and four pennies. We have to figure out how much that is and write two other coin combinations that would equal the same amount of change. So you don't really have to know how much this is. You, there, you could draw two, two other ways to get this without even knowing how much the total is. But let's just figure out what the total is. Two quarters, that's going to be 50 cents. Uh, three nickels, that's 15. And the four pennies, of course, that's four. So that's 50 and 15. That's 65 plus four. That's going to be 69 cents. So we have to find two different ways to make 69 cents. Uh, the two quarters, let's see, 69 cents. We could, uh, we could do... Four, five, 60 cents in dimes, and then 65, we can do a nickel. And now we need 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. This is a lot like the arrow way. You're just adding one coin at a time. And that, that's one way to get six, uh, one way to get the 69 cents. Another way you could do it, uh, and so now we can't do, we can't use it with two quarters. We, we can try it with one quarter here. 25. Well, actually, we could do it. Uh, we could do two quarters, 25. We just can't use three nickels. So we have the 225, that's 50. We'll dime for 60. And a nickel for 65. And then 66, 67, 68, 69. There's no getting around those four pennies. You're going to have to use those somehow. So there's two different ways to get the 69 cents. And then finally, we have Chelsea. She has 10 dimes. Write two other coin combinations she could have that would equal the same amount. Well, 10 dimes, that's 10 tens. And uh, you might know that by now. That's the same as 100 cents or a dollar. So two other combinations that would add up to a dollar besides 10 dimes. Uh, four quarters. Because two twenty-fives is 50. And two fifties. All right, that's 50, and that's 50, and 250s, that's a dollar. And zero cents. Another way to come up with this besides 10 dimes and four or, or four quarters is you could do two quarters, that's 50 cents, 225s is 50. And then you could draw five dimes, 10, 60, 70, 80, 90. And there's a hundred cents, which is a dollar, dollar and zero cents.